Well, there it is, rust, car's biggest enemy. And uh, we're gonna try and get into some of those problem spots around the bottom of the car, see if we can show you how you can uh, help alleviate some of that rusting problem. Here's what we're gonna use the screwdriver for, opening up these slots in the bottom of the door, cleaning these little drains out, any debris that's in them, getting it out of there before we wash it out. And uh, if they clog up, uh, it's gonna be a catch-all for rust to start in there. We're gonna get the wash mitt and uh, wash her off. And then uh, rinse her down. Now, if you do this to all the doors uh, a couple of times a year, cleaning out all these drain slots and washing them off, getting that, the leaves and debris out of there, that's gonna add a lot of life to your car. It's gonna make those doors last longer and keep the rust out of there. Okay, another area that you wanna clean up is the back of the car. Uh, as you're going down the road, there's a little bit of a vacuum behind the car and it tends to bring debris in behind the car, uh, road grit and uh, splash, and it tends to, to clog up the back of the car and a lot of salt gets in there too. Okay, what you're gonna do is uh, start wiping down some of that uh, area that's hidden from uh, your regular car washing activities. And uh, get in there and wipe all that salt and grit and dirt out of there. And for the mechanic, the favorite part of the car is under the hood here. We're gonna open her up. And we wanna look at all those areas where the salt spray is blown through the grill and it's accumulated on the body. Here it is here, you can see the salt and dirt that's built up in these areas. And this is what you wanna clean off. You wanna clean all these areas. Get it out of there. Okay, we're flushing out this uh, wheel area here. You wanna move around the car and do this to every wheel, every position. And there's one other area that we wanna move on to inside the car. Okay, here's that other spot that's a real problem area for cars in the winter time. Okay, screws out, sill out of the way. Peel that carpet back and uh, lift the insulation up and let her dry out under there. This one's soaking wet. Okay, we're all finished inside. We've got a great looking car. The exterior looks great. Next week, we want to take you into the engine bay and show you the key areas that you should be looking at before you hit the highway for those high speed summer miles. I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 88.